Scott Smoker Stories. Once again, we're winging it. We got the Weber Smoky Mountain 18.5 inch smoker cooker. We're gonna go ahead and dump the coals. So this will last for about two hours. The first step when you get those organic chicken wings is you want to cut off those wing tips. There's not much value in there as far as chicken goes. And you also want to cut off any excess fat. And then it's another option for you to keep the skin. I like to keep the skin, like to make real crispy skin. We throw it on the coals right at the end, right before we're pulling them off the smoker. After we've cleaned up the chicken, you're going to want to set it in some sort of a marinade. Today we used the soy sauce. We also had some Cuban mojo marinade, a little bit of orange juice, and you want to also mix in some salt and pepper and shake all those ingredients up. Let it sit for at least 30 minutes, which is what we're doing now while we wait for the smoker to get going. And once it's soaked up all of those juices, we throw them in that smoker. We did all the hard work. We got the wings marinating and we got the smoker going. We just need to get up to our temps and we'll be on our way. Now I'll get those wings. We'll throw them on the smoker. Nothing better than that. Happy Easter to everybody out there, to you and your family. And I hope that you can do something like this at your house. Take it upon yourself to create your own environment. One and a half, maybe two hours. We should have some crispy wings here that I'm be able to share with you guys. We're going to take a look, and I'm hoping that you'll be inspired to get those smokers going. People should buy organic because they take better care of the animals that they're raising. They get better nutrients that is ultimately what you're going to be eating. They are not restricted. They don't have scrawny bodies from living inside of a cage, living on top of each other. And we got our temps up, 275 degrees. Now let's go get the chicken and see what we got. And we've got our wings ready with Scott Smoker Stories. It's Easter and I mean, I just wish everybody could be out here doing this for their family on Easter. Our wings on the grill, you know, we can go ahead and start that timer. We're looking at a maximum of two hours. And what we usually do around here is we throw the top grate right over the coals for the last two or three minutes to get a nice crisp skin. And you just want to make sure that your chicken is not touching here as it's cooking. So we want to just make sure that they get some extra juice real quick before we hit the dry rub. They're already sizzling, you know, and we just one and done. You don't need somebody else to cook for you. You just get a smoker, get some chicken at the grocery store, and you're set. You're all set for the whole weekend. We're ready for movie night. What you could do. Is Come back real quick. We just juiced them. We get the dry rub on there. Let's see what we got. Dropping our freshly smoked wings straight over the coals for the next one to two minutes. And this is an important step. You want to get them really charred. And on the inside, those bones are just ready to crumble. This is just fall off the bone meat. We got them marinated. We got them dry rubbed. Let's see what they got. These ones look done. Not so worried about them. And we're just gonna go ahead and make them, them all, dark. all dark with a little bit of crispiness on each one. Cause that's the way we like it. These are done folks. So if you don't like them like that, you don't have to do it like that. This is how we like them. And that's one of the beauties of smoker house cooking. So much flexibility. It's a lot harder to mess it up than something you might be doing on the grill. Cooking in slow motion so you get a lot of time to 
to check on everything and make sure it's to your liking because there's so many different ways you can go with it. That's the beauty of this whole thing. And um, get your smoker going. <laughs>